is the third unboxing of a total of four. Now, of course, you know me. My primary collecting thing I like the most when it comes to Kenner Toys, and it has been for over 30 years now, is the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman. Well, we did get some Bionic goodies inside of the big, huge lot of dusty-related stuff, you know, because I need shoes for everything, you know. Like I said, the shoes are universal. They will fit on a Dusty. They will probably not fit on a Darcy. I do have a Darcy item coming up, a, a carded outfit. I've never gotten one before because there's a lot of competition when it comes to Darcy. Darcy didn't last nearly as long as she should have. But that's a whole different story. Getting back to the main thing here. Now, naturally, <laughs> you know how people may, you know, make, they do army building for like stormtroopers and other kind of Star Wars figures? And then you can do the same thing with G.I. Joe, naturally. But, um, uh, yes, it's another Steve Austin $6 million man figure. I mean, I'm up to well over 35. So I'm army building Steve Austin. There's nothing wrong with that. It's classic. It's vintage. It's it's my era. <laughs> so here we go. This is coming all the way from Fort Worth, Texas, from Maryland. The cool about part that um, um, Maryland, I have, I have a sister. Her name is Maryland. So if Maryland ever watches my YouTube channel, here we go. I'll just shout out to my sister. Hi, sis. Love you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I know my nephew watches it. <laughs> uh. Would you believe it? There's glitter in here. <laughs> it's like Merry Christmas. Why? I don't know. Okay, yeah, I don't know, it's just the paper has glitter on it, so. <gasps> he's, he's captivated, like a tune. Let him in. So, okay. Now, first and foremost, he does have a few issues. <laughs> Mainly, <laughs> it's below. <laughs> he has no decent pants. Hey, I actually got a little bubble wrap. Look at him. Let me out. Let me out. Now, this, of course, is um, a universal particular item that was used on him. It came with the reporter communicator in the backpack radio. Now, the backpack radio, people don't realize, was the second most easily to acquire accessory made in 1975 after the Bionic Transport and Repair Station. You will not believe how well the Bionic Transport and Repair Station sold in America. They literally sold, they moved many, many units. We're talking millions, <laughs> literally, across the world, because it was also overseas in the uh, UK. So I think the what I remembered of the actual estimate between 1975 into about maybe August, September, and of course, Christmas season of 1976, they sold nearly 2.5 million. That's right. I'm not exaggerating the numbers. 2.5 million bionic transports and repair stations. And that's why you can, they're not that hard to get. Now, the same thing with the backpack radio. Now, the backpack radio was an awesome accessory, you know, basically for portable use with the $6 million man figure. But it didn't sell terribly well because I've seen so many photos of clearance stickers on it. I remember one sold for like 49 cents. I would have been buying them all day long at 49 cents. But okay, there we go. Just to give you a backstory on the element, of course. All right. I got tons of bubble wrap, so I don't have to be careful of it. This is kind of cool. They even put bubble wrap around his arm. I like that. That's something different. I, I appreciate that, Marilyn, very much. Okay. Now, of course, like I said, his pants are shot. But guess what? <laughs> I got a surplus of pants. So we can just take those right off. 
we got to check him out to make sure he looks um, decent. Let's see what? Oh, yeah. Of course, first edition, as I mentioned before in other videos, first edition feet only go up and down. They do not go left or right. So we're checking out to make sure those knee joints are good. Yeah, they're very sturdy. His legs move really well. Let's take a look under his helmet, shall we? Interesting sound. Wow. It's been on there for a while. Holy crap. Well, <laughs> take a look at that. Here, let me lift it up. So you can see in here, since it's been underneath that helmet the whole time, I mean, dang. Another premium head example. The head sculpt, of course, of the Six Million Dollar Man is truly one of the greatest ever because it looks just like Lee Majors. I'm just checking it out. It's like, wow. That means his eye, I bet, is clear as a bell. <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> so this helmet has obviously been on his head for well over 40 plus years. And I finally cracked it off like opening an egg. Okay. Now let's take the shirt off. The shirt off. The shirt has issues on it. Not a big deal. I don't care because I got, again, a surplus of shirts. All right. Of course, his arm. Oh, said it didn't work. <laughs> well, let's find out. Oh, looky, it works. You won't believe how many people will say that the bionic arm doesn't work anymore because they don't know anything about the red button function on his back. Um, if it's a figure that I don't need and I have a surplus of, I usually tell sellers on eBay all the time, oh, just turn his head to the right and push the red button. He will slowly go up. And of course, as always, you don't want to force it down when his head is to the right. You want to bring it back either to the middle or all the way to the left and just let it naturally lay set to the side. But the shirt, other than that little bit of a thing in the back, it's actually in really nice condition. Um, okay, now let's cut to the chase and see if, what we got on the arm. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, see, this is another reason I wanted it, because there is the chip at the shoulder, and there is the forearm chip. So, that's a winner. Of course, this is a, yeah, <laughs> okay. I know, this is getting ridiculous, isn't it? I have so many of the first editions, it's not even funny. But here's the one thing that's interesting. Okay, this is a revised t-shirt, you know, without the elastic around it. But this is, look, it's a first edition. <laughs> I, am, I have so many of them now. You know, it's like I have at least 25 first editions. So, yep. There's the first one of the $6 million man. We got a whole bunch of more goodies coming up right now. First and foremost, I want to tell everyone that, you know, it's nice that you're being patient with me. You know, it's been a while. It's been definitely a long while. But I appreciate everyone who has been liking, subscribing, and hopefully sharing my videos with like mind collectors, like myself. Because after all, the 70s was the greatest decade of toys ever. Proof in the pudding, Steve Austin. You can never grow on $6 million. Stay tuned. Next one's coming up.